Hello and welcome to the channel Gaming Like a Noob. I'm the noob and I call myself Sansomi. And today we have a home game against Grimsby Town. Now, yes, we can surpass them if we win against them. But our next game is against Fulda. And I don't know how to handle this because it's quite close together. It's just got one or two days in between here, if it was two or three days between the games and so should i play my best players now or should i play them against fill them i have serious problems uh considering that but i, I think i'm going to play my best player this game here it's a home to home ga home game so of course we want to show our our people and here at home that they are um he do i'm gonna have him as a ball playing we want to show them that that uh, we are getting back maintaining sharpness sharp maintaining yeah so so i'm gonna play with this team and uh, hopefully we will make a better game than we did last time out we need uh we need a win um because i think it's 14 games now without a win and we can't continue like this uh, 14 or 15 games without a win we need to put an end to that um to that bad form um we can't continue to play like this the club has said that they are happy that I have established myself as a League 2 team, so that made them pleased as well. So the board seems okay with it, but I'm not okay with it. And um, I am afraid that if we lose too many games, then they will start questioning if they are going to replace me. And um, that is not something that I want to become, a, a replaced manager. Ooh. Because remember, if I get fired, this series is over. Oh, Andrews, you're quick. You are quick. Can you score? No. Too bad. But I guess his goal scoring abilities are going to take a dive as well when the team plays as bad as we have done now for a couple of weeks. Quite a few weeks, actually. And Makahona! Oh, Makahona! We need to put those chances in to gain some confidence and to gain, to come back to the way we know we can play. We played so well. Oh, Corey Andrews! Corey Andrews! Corey, Corey Andrews! He scored goals. He scored goals. Brilliant. And, um, yeah. Let's hope we don't drop this. Let's continue to play good now. In the name of all that is holy, we need, we need this victory. Let's not drop this. Coleman to Flahaven, Ufoko, Ufuka, sorry. And as Andrew's coming through, and Andrew's, oh, he shoots right on the goalkeeper. And they get stressed out and just puts it out on the long side here. 25 minutes into the game, and we're 1-0 up. I wonder how many spectators we have here today. Seems to be a few. But, uh, yeah. Thinking how we have played in the last couple of weeks, it should actually have been dropping. So maybe one and a half thousand, unless Grimsby Town is here with a lot of uh, people. Maybe they have brought in a lot of people with them. So let's hope for that, maybe, so that we can have them. And here we go. Flahaven. Findings, Andrews, and Andrews finds the net. Corey Andrews, Corey Andrews. He scored goals, he scored goals, he scored goals. Yay, 2 0. And it seems like he's heading for another man of the match. If he can keep this up. I mean, I could see myself exchange taking him out now because he's going to keep that average rating in that case well if i keep him on 
he could drop. But I'm not going to do that. Uh, I want to see if we can continue to score a couple of goals. That's it. Who's here? He gets it into Afoka. Oh, no! Whoa, 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 whoa! Holy macaroni. Hess Andrews. And Terenzi gets it to Jude. Jude gets it to... Oh, hit the post. He has not been good. He's one of the biggest reasons, I think, that we have played so bad as we have. Because he's been really out of form these, these couple of months that we have had the problems. Jude has been abysmal. He's been really bad. And uh, he's not been able to find his way into the to the form that he had before. He, he was really good at the start of the season. He, I don't think he was under seven many games, but I don't think he's been over seven many games this last half a year, or this year, so to say. But, oh, here comes Hammond. Let's see what this ends. Oh, what a screamer he gets. How did he get that away? I, I thought uh, Coleman and Terenzi had that completely under control and then boing it said and there was a goal i think a farka is tired so tired that i want to change him into jake fisher there i don't want to change him into jake fisher i want him to to ex to um be taken out by by Jake Fisher. Here's Hughes with a free kick and uh, right in the in the arms of the goalkeeper. But what's happening here? Oh, Guthrie, Malay, Malay, and Guthrie here. Let's not give them an opportunity to equalise as well. Oh, come on! Thank you, Steele. Getting me worried there. And no, we are not. We are losing control of the game. This is not good. I don't know how to get control of it again. Ah, oh, Fisher couldn't reach that ball. And here they come. And I guess it's two-two. Yes, it is. We can't give them those opportunities. And I can't take Jude out now. I don't have anybody to put in there. I'm going to take out our best player and put in Kaya. I just need something to happen here and, and I don't have much choices here to, to pick from. I'm going to put in Vance as well. Here's Flahaven. To Mark. Oh! So close! Oh, Makhoma, you should have scored there. What a screamer he gets away and then it's just outside. 25 minutes to go. Here's Flahaven. He gets out to Fisher. Fisher, can he get the ball into the... Yeah, he gets it in, but there's no one there. Here's Coleman. Gets the barrel ball back to Fisher. Fisher tries, but cannot get it past the goalkeeper. And here they come with a corner. And it's a goal. They have turned the game around. We were 2-0 up. And look at this. They turn it around. We were supposed to end a bad trend today. And it just continues. Oscar Terenzi has played horrible, it seems like, today. And, yeah. What can I say? I'm, I'm, I'm lost for words. I don't know what to say, actually. I'm, I'm, it's just horrible. We continue to lose. We had 1,672. So yeah, pro approximately what I thought we were going to have here. Throw the water bottle. I need to be angry now. And I forgot to say, did Corey Andres become the man of the match? I didn't. I missed that because of my disappointment. But I felt, how can we lose having two, we're being 2 nil up, being so, playing so good in the first half and a bit into the second as well. And then just everything crumbles. Incredible. 
and the fans are angry at my tactics. He's one goal away, 30 league goals this season, which triggered the clause to would result in him receiving a bonus of £1.5,000. I'm, I'm going to let him have that if he scores that goal. Uh, I'm going to keep him in the team, is what I mean. But um, I'm, I'm not going to take him out and put him on the bench for the rest of the season just because I don't want to pay £1.5,000 in some bonus for him. But yeah, we need to start winning now. And I don't, don't really know why we are losing like we are. Maybe we should take down the tempo again. I want that to be, and maybe we should, I'm thinking, not use tight markings, but we want offside traps. Um, so yeah, let's do this. Is there anything in transition we want to counter press or or regroup? I think I want to counter press for a while now. See what that can if that can help. Um, like that. Let's see. We shouldn't be this bad. We really shouldn't be this bad. Um, I think we have better players than than's been shown this last what is it fifteen games without a victory or something like that. It's been a, a horrible time and just doing all the right stuff at the beginning, scoring goals and everything, and then just letting everything run away with us at the end of it all. That's that's not acceptable. We're gonna face Phil at home. Um, that could be a good thing, playing at home against Filder, though. Uh, hopefully, we can win that game. Uh, we should win that game, and uh, I certainly hope that we will win that game. But um, I don't know how many players that we can use from the first team, because I don't know if um, if that's going to change anything. And look at this. He was actually scoring two goals. 8.7 in his game for Alta. And uh, player of the match. Uh, wonderful. Two appearances, 7.5. So let's hope he continues to play like that for them. Then he could perhaps get a, a good a work permit and uh, give us the opportunity to play him. That would be nice. So please, please do that. But I'm so irritated at the moment um, about everything. Eight weeks for Terenzi now injured. Not good. That's a uh, eight week of development that is just going to go to waste. So he's going to be back somewhere, I guess, around uh, pre-season next season. Uh, Welling under 18, facing Leicester under 18. Was that a friendly? I gotta be a friendly. Had to be a friendly, I guess. And we have some time to do here. Let's give some extra creative team bonding. Here we go with uh, preparation, match review, and here we go with recovery. Like that. We want it like that. We want to squeeze in in everything. We don't want any rest. Uh, yeah, you s probably say that that's why I get uh, the injuries. But uh, yeah, I don't think so. Um, I might be training them wrong. And that might be the injury problems. But I'm pretty sure it's not because they are training every single. Because many of the, the training is, is something that doesn't really uh, put them in a hard uh, problem so to speak so and I'm not gonna be he's too 27 now and I was interested in him when I started he's been on the short list but I took him off the short list because uh, uh, I went through some of the players on the short list and, and I discovered that there were players that I have had since the first season 
which simply isn't good enough to even be on the bench in my team nowadays but he would have been good signing back in the day so yeah it is some other it's in, on another level we are on another level now when we sign players or we try to sign players on another level so um he made it one of the players that made the most difference that's uh, he's playing really good down there and uh that's good and uh, gets games and hopefully he develops so maybe he can be uh let's see i'm pleased to see that i've played except in central defender and raised the issue playing him different role okay yeah yep 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 he is playing where he's supposed to what where we have uh, had agreed let's look at this they're all in that league one premier league future and stuff like that so of course i want to sign them now the question is will they leave their clubs or will they be signing new contracts for for their clubs when the season is over i'm gonna have to to keep a close eye on that and see if i can sign any of them if they leave their club let's see what we can put on the pitch today i, I want to toby egan to be back and uh, carl coleman is not fit enough to play let's have jude russell he hasn't been up playing he hasn't been playing for quite some time. Oscar Torrenzi, let's put in Joe Bennett. Let's give him some minutes. And, uh, and that looks kind of okay. They're all green otherwise. So let's, let's give this team a chance in this game as well. Let's see if we can get out of this constantly not winning in a game against our the team that went up together with us show into weaker fate foot i would do that dressing room push here let's go let's show that you've got what it takes to come back we need to come back we've been abysmal and we have been horrible and i don't know what to say we 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 can't seem to get out of this bad bad situation that we have happened we've we've ended up in uh, and yeah we need i need to do something uh if we don't win this game i need to do something maybe with um with the tactics or something else i need to do something if we don't uh, get a win here today Fulda is one of the teams that has had a really bad season and they are most likely going to leave the division if they don't win against us of course then they will be able to get by both Port Vale and, and, uh, and there's Hoives oh I can understand that they're going to be fighting for for it today and uh, that my players don't have the same uh, hunger because we have nothing to play for in that sense. We have only our pride to play for, which I find is uh, important. But uh, yeah, being down here, I can understand and not having the rivalry with any club. If we faced Filde a lot of times and, and they and that been, been a hard, uh, like I said, like Manchester United against Liverpool, that sort of games it doesn't matter that you don't have anything else to play for if you're a manchester united player or a, a liverpool player that game is important it doesn't matter where you're going to end up with a victory or a loss it doesn't matter if you're still going to win the league if you lose or if you're gonna if you have nothing to play for you you don't gonna gain anything by winning you should be giving everything you got in those games but that is not in this case of course because there's no rivalry here that i know of so yeah but i still want to win and he's been crap today as well jude let's bring in fisher there 
Paris is getting a bit tired. I don't know what to do really about that. Um, Flahaven is very tired, so let's put in a Kinwile there. Let's see if he can help Coriandro to score today. This is not going very good. Let's have an, uh, some attacking. We need to do something and let's demand more. Don't care that the season is over for us. I don't care that we can't climb high enough. I don't care that we are not going to go out of the division. We need a win. We need a win today. We need to change what has happened throughout this second half of the season. Wigget. Fisher. Fisher. Get by him. You can do this. Andrews. Andrews, you can. And Akin Wales scores. And it's 1-0 in the 85th minute. Maybe. Maybe. Just maybe we can break ourselves free from that without a win streak that we've had for such a long time. Four minutes to go. Please don't let them score. Come on. One minute. And it's over. And we finally win. Oh, that took some time and effort to get to. And uh, thank you, Akin Whale, being the man of the match as well and being assisted by Corey Andrews. That's good. I'm going to go with outstretched arms here because I'm going to be really happy that we won. And uh, yeah, I don't care that we only won with one nil and it took took us way into the dead of the match we did win that's the important thing and yeah Phew. that was hard that was a hard game i mean didn't happen very much in the game but i guess we we um finally came out of that i wonder how many games we did do go without winning it, it must have been 15 or 16 or something like that. It was incredible feeling. Oh. Well, it doesn't say here either. No. I hope it's not a, some kind of records that we have put, set with, when, without victories. Now we have Tranmere Rovers next coming up here. And... Um, then we only have one game left, don't we? Only that Oldham game away. And then the season is over. I'm going to try to go all the way to uh, where we get the information of what has happened and everything, which I usually forget about. And then when I do that off camera, I say, oh, that's something that I should have had in the video. So uh, I'm going to try to get all the way to there. And we're going to have to see what happens here. Yes. Salford, another team that has secured a playoff spot. I have also decided not to sign a single player from the youth development. None of them is going to get a contract offer. Not from me anyway. So, um, yeah. So, Tranmere Rovers, they are eighth in the league. And it's a away game. And we're going to end the season on an away game as well after that. So, that's not going to be nice let's see here so let's go i could see something as well don't we are we having training after no after the we don't have it said rest when i looked here it said rest you can see but uh, as it seems like they're going on holidays already on the fifth and since i couldn't be placing any any training in these on those game on those weeks so Season end of yeah, yeah, that's it. So finally a win though. That was, but that was we went way too long without a victory there, and um, maybe this will uh, make it okay even if we lose the two games that are left of the season. Maybe the board and the fans will accept. Um, because of that victory, because we needed to, we needed that victory because losing against Filder would be a shame. Um, dropping points would be not very good, and um, 
Winning just with just one nil is okay. Not a great thing though. But we ended the without winning time, so that's why it was important. Uh, I feel compelled to remind you that the promises to following players have been fulfilled. Okay, Van is expected to play as a defender. Kramer is expected to play a midfielder. Mike Wall is expected to right defender with full back role. Have I made those promises? Oh, I have promised too much. I know that I I had to do them, I guess, because they they wouldn't sign otherwise, but and I usually do that and then I play them the way I want to play them anyway, so yeah, let's see. Kaya is going to come in, and I guess we're going to have to play. Mm, let's do Craig Mahone. Craig McMahon. And any other tired players? No, it looks okay otherwise. So uh, I have both of them on the bench and be able to bring them in in the second half or something so let's just get this game on the way and and uh, hope that we can do something good here jude russell was back in the team and finally we won so maybe it is a lucky thing for us uh, no we're not going to do that since we want to going to go with the assistant manager's advice at the moment when it comes to those pre game talks and so on here comes Tranmere and I have a feeling this is not going to end well Tranmere is a good side and they they I think they they were tough against us in the first game as well I find out if or did was that one of the games where we shocked and won against a top team could be could be but they are good and they've been around that top of the table the entire season so uh, I don't expect us to be better than this team to be honest um, but they are seems like they have no chance of reaching the playoffs so there we go Robert Stokes equalizes that's good we need to score goals so that they get some some good feelings about themselves up again um, we need to feel that we have a chance of winning games again we've been out of everything for a very long time now and again Jude is not performing I don't know what has happened to Jude but he's not been performing for such a long time I don't know what to do about it um, honestly but yeah, we're going to have to assess that afterwards. I don't think he's going to be, I don't gonna, I don't think I'm going to be lending him the next season. I want to find something better if we're going to loan any players. I'm not going to settle with uh, the players that I had this season. Because now we are an established team up there. Pump fist? No, I can't pump fist if I want to go with the assistance recommendation. All green, that's good. So I guess the players were happy about the team talks. Let's see what happens here now. Oh, you've been fooled there. Morel. And here they come again. Come on, Jude. You've got to be better out there. Come on, I know you got it in you. I've seen in the in the in the beginning of the season you were brilliant out there, and that was not a good one. And yeah, lucky us, lucky, lucky. We were really lucky there. Jude is abysmal. He's so poorly in this game. I'm gonna take him off. Very strange that he can't seem to get anything together here. I'm actually going to be putting in the two central midfielders that has been good for us the entire season. Or the when it went good for us, they were there, were there, and they were good. And um, I wonder if Hughes 
has another season in him, or if this is the last great season for for Emir Hus. Egan trying to reach Andrews and Andrews and Andrews. Oh, good shot as well. Good save by their goalkeeper, I must say. Makoma and uh, Emir Hus coming in now. Let's see if we can get better or worse. Will we score or will we let a goal in or will it end like this? Interesting to think about here. And we're nearing the end of the seasons and we have secured uh, a, a League 2 contract. We are going to be playing here next season as well. Let's hope that brings us some sponsor money and stuff like that. I don't know if that's going to happen, but uh, uh, I could be thinking that maybe the sponsors wants us to be secured in the professional leagues before they start giving us money so that could be a reason but uh, yeah guess I'm gonna have to see what happens here at the end of the season and the beginning of the next one so but uh, we have one more game to play then this season is over Fleetwood secure playoff spot uh, Welling lucky to draw. Yes, we were lucky. Um, let's just move along here. Dolby and Freddie Potts. And yeah, let's move on, move on. Corey Andrews, a little jaded. And yeah, well, he should be having the rec record now with my, most men of the match in this division. Let's check that out before we do anything else. Records, um, players, most, 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 most player of the match awards, 12. So that is, uh, should be a record overall. Most, most matches, uh, let's see here, his player, most player of the match award. No, Scott Brown, Port Whale. Something is really wrong here because he's surpassed Scott Brown and he's not giving the credit. Or is it is that credit given once the season is over now? I don't think so. I think we should be here now. That's weird. Really, really weird. 136 gold by Peterborough in 1960-61. Is there anybody that I, I can't see that here? We're going to have to get in here. Nobody has even close to that. Look at that's 84 scored goals. How many goals have we scored? We have scored 64. That's all. And if we take a look at this, is he still his number one? Corey Andrews is number one in goal scoring. He's almost scored half of our goals. Holy smokes, we need other players to be able to score for us, that's for sure. Ah. Well, well, let's move on. Let's get to that last game of the season. Matt Mickelson was one of the players to make a real difference. He's getting better and better down there. Oh, please give him a work permit so we can use him when he comes back from that lend, from that loan. Sorry, and um, that's the post match information. Let's see what's going to happen here now. Well, soon the season is over. Look at how close we are to being at the end of the season, which is quite interesting. And I'm looking forward to next season. Uh, it's going to be a tough uh, pre season because uh, finding players. Uh, both players that we can buy or buy or not buy, sign on free and especially trying to find players to lend to to make us uh, a bit stronger. Uh, it's going to be hard and it's going to be tough to find them. And uh, it is a bit of a, a game to, to um, a bit of a chance. Will they be good or will they not be good? And you don't want to sign them 
with short contracts um, and Jason Steele gets injured. Uh, but we are juicing Toby Egan, so let's hope that Toby Egan will be okay. Let's not hope. Let's hope he doesn't get injured. So we started the last week now. We're into the last week. On Saturday, we have Oldham away. They are 19th in the division, so a team that we should be able to do something about. Players develop advice. I don't know here. Now, Paris should stay down there. Yeah, let's go on. Here's Joven. But they're still contracted to their clubs. Uh, so I can't do anything about it until they are, they've left their club. Once they leave their club, uh, these players seem to have signed a new contract with Watford here. Um, because they they go to 26. Here's a Belgian player that goes to 25. But it doesn't seem like... A, ooh, look at that. Let's put him... He's on my shortlist. So I guess I'm interested in him. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, defensive midfielder center. A defender and midfielder center. All right. Yeah. Let's see if he... If he... If he leaves the club. Because he's... His contract is running out, but he's, he's paid 7000 there, and that's going to be a very hefty salary to be paying out. Can I afford that? It all depends if I get some sponsor money, I must say, and uh, if I could offload a couple of bad players. Shallow release, just get rid of him. And some players are complaining about the training. Uh, Backroom team advice summary. Uh, further her coaching. Yeah, sure. Of course I want them to get better. I want them to train or whatever. Taking licenses. I think that's important. Daniel Lewis is a study coaching qualification. Yes, and so is. So we're getting close here to uh, the old game. Ball Michael Becko. Contracted to Tottenham, he's no, oh, he's not anything to have then. Have I offered him a contract? No, so I'm not going to do that either. Even though, well, they have been having a look at him, so he shouldn't be anything good. Let's let's not think about him anymore. And here we have another one who's got some potential, very strong. Let's put him on the shortlist here because his contract is running out as well. Can he sign already? Yes, he can. Do I want him to? He has some good. And he's only 18. Does he have an English nationality as well? Yes. And he's a defender. I'm going to... I'm just going to play around with giving him a youngster he's interested in being a youngster for us that's good let's see if we can sign him for three years then wages of 160 and let's just go with this will he accept he accepts so let's hope he signs for us then it looked good uh grimshaw update he's played fairly well there that's let's see here welling makes yeah that's the offer that i put out of there let's see what happens here now very not many training sessions left huddersfield scoop okay and they want Charlie Rigger to become a fringe player. Isn't good enough to be playing the time he wants. I think I want him. Future prospect regular is good enough to be a regular starter. I don't want him to be a regular starter. Charlie Wiggett, I want you to be great. And he finally, he's been improving in training. Oh, all those arrows. Could it be the professional contract? I don't know. Maybe it is. 
maybe that's it. Maybe I need they need to have professional contract as well because I can understand they can't join every session if they have to have a job on the side. So yeah, but on the other hand, why should he have a job on the side if he earns the same money? It doesn't matter if he's a professional footballer or a part-time, he can still, if he earns the same kind of money, he can, he still needs, he can still live on it and, and won't have to work so he can, yeah, you know what I mean. Oldham Athletic, the very last game, and um, yeah, I'm going to be having a little look here now and see who do I want to, oh, he's been off with that, let's put passing on his training schedule, and um, yeah, so Oldham Athletic, we're going to see, we're going to have some fit players, I guess, uh, try to reach as many fit players as possible in that and um, not worry too much about anything else. Um, of course, if Corey Andrews is healthy, he should be playing uh, because, um, yeah, just because, of course because i want him to be able to to um to score goals and to uh, to get another man of the match we're going to have a look at that next season if he's if he reaches that if he gets that record if if or if it's because uh, it's starting to show a lot of bugs in this game to be honest and this is supposed to be fully patched just as I, because it's the last season's Football manager, so they, there's no updates to this game. So the, I guess they haven't gotten rid of all the bugs. Ismaila Bojang is back in full training, but he's not going to be fit enough to play today. So let's just get on with it and into fixtures. We're playing away at Oldham, as I said, and Oldham is down here. They cannot surpass us even if they win, so that's good. And, um, yep, yeah, let's go to the team. They're all green, so they could all play. Um, but both Emir Hayes and Paris are fresh to play. Uh, Jason Steele is not, though. So Josh Lane has to come in on the bench. Toby again is, of course, going to be playing as usual. And I think Terence is still out, and so is Kyle Armstrong. So... No change to the left defender. Uh, Dan Battler is on the bench, ready to jump in if um, something happens back there. And Steve Vance is there. I think this is the team we're going to use. You know what? Let's give Jake Fisher a, a farewell game as well. Jude has been playing like crap anyway, so let's give him the opportunity to do something. Jake Fisher... Let's get this game on the road. And it's going to be interesting. I hope that they can develop develop Jake Fisher to reach whatever potential they think he has since they are, are willing to pay a million pounds for him. So, yeah. Showing to weaker foot. The pump. Some fist hair go out and impress me. Kick off. Skip. Let's get this game going. <clears throat> Old Hermaclefic away. Dennis Irving's old club. Before he was bought by Manchester United. Here's Afuka. He hoisted it up towards Andrews. Gets it down to Flahaven. Flahaven gets it into Mahoma. And that's. And ooh, the ball was still free there. Who's? Gets it to Russell. Russell gets it up to Flahaven. Flahaven to Andrews. And Andrews shoots it over. Flahavid is very unselfish as well. He he does a great job for Corey Andrews. So I'm a bit scared that when Neil now leave for the summer, Corey Andrews is not going to have as good a season next season as he had this season because I've I think he's been taking giving a but getting a lot of advantage by playing together with Neil Flahavid. So uh, yeah. 
he's always been better when Neil has been there, so that, that's... Uh, and no, that didn't happen. Let's see how things end up here now then. I think I'm going to go through the team as well and the players that I want to keep uh, that doesn't have a full-time contract. I'm going to offer a full contract contract. Oh, my Tono! Paris scores. 1-0 for Welling. Good. Now, that's one player. I think he has a professional contract, but if he doesn't, that's one player that I want to try and give a, con a professional contract. And, ooh. Goal kick there. That's We were lucky there. So, but players like Emil Hayes, I don't think he has a professional contract either. So, I'm going to give him, offer him a chance to get that. And... Um, what else? Who else can I think about like that? Corey Andrews might be on a part-time contract as well. So I'm going to go through the players that I want to keep. They're Fisher, making it 2-0. Are we back? Are we back? Or is this going to be like the Grimsby game? Where we take a 2-0 lead and then just lose everything in the second half. I hope not. Maybe we'll lose it already in the first half. This looks promising for them. But hey, we steal that ball. for Harman back to Andrews. Andrews, the quick Andrews is... Oh! What a run by Andrews, though. He made that run very, very good. Here's Hughes. Hughes gets it in and... Oh, crap. Afuka is not going... He's not able to get that. Right. Dimitri Bennett gets that out of there. That's good. So let's see what happens here then. And come on. Welling United and Corey Andrews. I want you to score a couple of goals here. It's the last game of the season. That's another one. This one is from Flahaven. And it's 3-0 for Welling. We're playing good here, but I want Corey Andrews to score. And uh, the more they are behind, the more they should actually be pressing on us. And uh, the more they are pressing on us, the more chances there should be for Corey Andrews because he's a counter-attacking player. And I guess that's why we've had such success against better teams. And that's a Fuka 4-0. As I said, I think that's one of the reasons why we've had so much success in the cup against better team than ourselves is that we have played uh, the long ball and the quick running of, of Corey Andrews uh, that then has uh, been giving us loads of uh, chances to, to score in that way. And uh, feels good to end the season as well, if we could here now continue to, to at least not let a lot of goals in here. To end with a big win would be very beneficial, I think. It would put us in the right side of mind before the start of the next season. But as I said, I have loads of things to do in the in the summer month here now where i oh bad pass by flahaven and that winget is there good as i've said i've lot to do in the summer break here because i need to try to find out how i want to what i want to do with the players which players i want to to get rid of flahaven five nil i need to know what players i am to give up on which players I need to sign, which players I need to loan, and so on and so forth, in order to keep, to get a, a good squad together for next season, and to get rid of some dead wood so that we can, uh, yeah, the contracts don't eat up all our money every single week. Here's Fisher. Fisher reaching Flahaven, and Flahaven gets it forward to Andrews! Corey Andrews, Corey, Corey Andrews. He reaches that goal, so 
we are 1.5 thousand pounds poorer, but that's worth it. He's worth it. He'd have a, he's had a tremendous season. I think that puts him on 30 league goals, which is a very good result. Here's Andrews again, and he scores again. Oh, another scoring by Corey Andrews. Can he be the man of the match, or will Neil Flahaven be the man of the match? That's those two are oh together with Emu Hughes and Fulka. Oh, this is going to be interesting, but it looks like it's going to be Flahaven if if Corey Andrews doesn't score again. If Corey Andrews scores again, I guess it's going to be Corey Andrews. But what happened? We've and there's Corey Andrews. Oh, seven nil. Against Oldham, what are they doing? Just putting their shoes on the pitch and saying, yeah, how about it? We give up. I don't know. It's not that we are playing that brilliant. It can't be. We haven't made any bigger changes, but it's a brilliant way to end the season, that's for sure. And uh, Bennett, who's going to leave us? I think he got a yellow card there. Yes, he did. So, 80 minutes played here, and Corey Andrews is at the same so average rating as Flahaven. It is going to be close with a low close. And Andrews! Oh, if he scored there, he would have surpassed Neil Flahaven. It would have been cool because, of course, as a Welling United. As well in United, we want those records to be put into the books. And uh, 13 is going to be harder for any other team to beat than 12, of course. So that's why we would have loved to get another... And he gets it! He becomes the man of the match! So 13 man of the match for Corey Andrews this season and 7-0. What a win! What a way to end the season after all those games where we hardly, we could hardly get a point and then end the season with a 7-0 victory. That was beautiful and deliberating and we ended on plus three goals in goal difference. And that is an important thing as well, I think. To have scored more goals than we have let in is in my mind very important for for the team and yeah now we can go on the, the summer holiday and um, just feel great about it oh I can breathe again and um, yeah I'm, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna keep keep this um, running here until we get to that season summary so that we get to see all of those nice stuff and have a talk about all the the merchandise sold here it is it came queer quite quickly but i always forget to wait for this all the other seasons but here we have it let's see new arrivals let's get into this transfers in simmons bistrop a King Whale has been okay. A Fuka, Dalby, Jude Russell, all of these players. Paris, Macahoma, then I guess he's on professional contract since he came this season. All of these players that are here should have come, should have uh, professional contracts. So, yeah. They're out. These players left. Marcos Dinwanga, he's been playing quite good in Hereford. Finanzas has been playing okay, I guess. Um, uh, Uludare has not been very good, I think. He's been okay in Hartlepool. And we haven't gotten rid of any other than these players. Loans out, we have a couple of players out on loan. And... Um, Mads Mickelson, of course, for me, the most important or the most interesting player to have out on loan because I hope that he will be gaining um, a work permit because of that. 
Matt Bistrop, I was hoping that for him as well, but it doesn't seem like he's been giving any more games after those five games, which he built up quite quickly. So let's get to the season's results. We have the league where we ended in 14th place. And uh, yeah, that was, of course, not very good. But the board are delighted that we achieved the mid-table position. So um, since they are happy with it, I'm happy with it. And of course, competition top scorer Corey Andrews from Welling. That's, uh, that's nice. Our average home attendance. 1,686, 30% increase, I guess. And uh, yeah, I think we did good there. FA Cup, reach second round minimum. And we, final position was third round where we faced Arsenal, I guess. And we, Corey Andrews was competition top scorer. And we got to be top competition's top scorer for us, not for the entire competition, I, I reckon. But uh, I'm going to go in and have a look at that. Carabao Cup. Yeah, because here's only Jude Obadje. One goal. He can't be winning the competitions um, with that. That's for sure. And Papa John's Trophy. Quarterfinal. Corey Andrews. Top scorer for us there as well with four goals. So that's... Um, <clears throat> I think... I think looking at the games as well, the the home game against Chelsea was an incredible game. The away win against uh, Bournemouth, I'm very proud of that. And uh, going out of the group, of course, was a very fine thing as well. And uh, I'm very proud of the 2-2 against Liverpool as well. Going out on penalties against Liverpool there was tremendous. Then we have moments to remember. Biggest win, 7-0. That's last game that we played of the season here now. Match to remember, the Emirates FA Cup. Walsall away with 6-1. Yeah, that was a game to remember. Four goals by Corey Andrews. Goal of the season was made by Andrews. Great strike from the Welling United striker as he scored a daisy cutter from 25 metres. So, yeah, that's all we have to say about that. Then we have finances. And, of course, we have no new sponsorship deals this year. Incredibly disappointing. And no new sponsorship this year. I'm very disappointed about that. We have that. Um, this sponsorship is running out, though. So we are supposed to get a new sponsor, main sponsor kit. Let's hope they give us some money, not, not some breadcrumbs like this has been broadcast revenue is 270,000 that's good competition uh, corporation and hospitality is 27.01 thousand both of them have gone up competition price money has gone down we did better in the in last season with 483 all right that's weird Match day commercial and retail has gone down as well. That's strange. Being a, a professional club and everything, I thought that was going to come up. But all right. Total merchandise sale. Non-domestic sales amounts to this. 338 shirts sold. The following players sold. But Corey Andrews, of course. The striker that's been incredible this season. Maghoma, Hughes, Flahaven and Simmons have sold a lot of shirts as well. So here's how I lined up most of the season. Steele, Coleman, Stokes, Wigget, Terenzi, Jude, Maghoma, Hoyes, Ofako, oh, Afuku, Afuka, God damn it, Andrews and Neil Flahaven. So yeah, and of course... Corey Andrews and Neil Flahaven has been the best players. And, and look at this. He's been 46 games he's been playing. 8 assists and 42 goals. That's an incredible amount of goals that he has scored this season. So the accolades. And we have Manager Award. We became Manager Panorama National League Manager of the Year. So no new award this season. That's uh, 
That's a shame. Oh well. Uh, club awards. The fans player of the season, of course, Corey Andrews. Young player of the season, Neil Flahaven. Signing of the season, Glenn Wade. Goal of the season, Corey Andrews. Top scorer, Corey Andrews. Most assist, Emil Hoos. Uh, most player of the match, Corey Andrews. And uh, highest rating, Corey Andrews. Most passes complete, Kaya Tsakaha. And then we have competition awards. Nothing. Nobody has won anything this season in that sense. That's weird. Most overall goals by a player in a season, Corey Andrews, 27. That's record breaking. So he's been breaking two records for Welling. Most overall goals for a player in a season, 42 goals there. Most player of the match award is also a record for the club, which is 17. So, yeah, we're going to finish that off. And, uh, yeah, that's the end of the season review. And let's go with this as well to just take a look at the profile here. We can see Corey Andrews winning the, the goal-scoring league here the, with 31 goals. And this, he was eight goals ahead of the second place. Humphreys from Rushdale. That's incredible. Assist. Did he actually ended up first as an assist as well? No, average rating. He's been the best player in the league as well. Incredible. Best average rating in the league. And player of the match he won, of course. And uh, nothing else. We had we didn't have any other players anywhere close to this. That was the only player that gave us things like that and um, I wonder if he can um, get that back to, to next season Oscar Thorne still in the player in the all time best 11 we have Toby Egan into that team and we get Muir Johnson Corey Johnson yeah I remember him Vos I remember Huys J, so McMahoma is not in there yet. Jude has actually got it into the team. Well, let's see how things are going for Oscar Thorne then. He's not been playing any first team football. He plays, he plays for the Burnley under 23. He's played 32 games and scored 12 goals. You know what? Next season... I am actually considering maybe we should borrow, try to borrow this player back, just just to to see if he can can have the position of of uh, Neil Flahaven uh, and um, help us in that way. He's only twenty one and he's not playing for them, so there should be a possibility that we can borrow him. So yeah, I'm gonna try that. I think and. Um, Season review, we just went through all of that. And season performance analyst, here's the club vision and expectation. Um, they want us to end up as mid-table next season as well, of course. And repair the club's financial damage in progress. Uh, do I dare have it taking a look at it? At it? <sighs> Almost half a million. So uh, the... The money might not be available to do both of the things that I want to. Holy crap on a cracker. Team meeting. Let's discuss the next season. Uh, it's been a long season. I hope you all have a good break. You're going to need to come back to refresh because I'm aiming to finish in the top half next season. They were hurt and offended. Um... Uh, no, I want to insist on that. And they're insulted. I'm going to be positive about that overall anyway. And I'm going to be talking about that. See you at the start of the pre-season. So the season has ended. I always mess up those goddamn team meetings. I want to be positive And then they end up mad about it. Oh, well. Squad end off season break yes and yes 
We have training report. He ends the season well in training. So let's give him some good thoughts about that. So that's the season. The season has ended. And um, I'm going to have a long break here now and have a lot to do during this break. Um, I'm going to be um, signing players, I hope, and firing players, I hope, and so on and so forth. So um, do like, subscribe, and uh, leave a comment. Um, stay safe, have fun, and I'll just end with bye-bye-bye-bye.